everyone loses twice in this mm -hmm. bracket, right? That's exactly right. So, Which I love, Vish. Yeah. I love that. We're all treated equal in the eyes of the melee brackets. And the top players rise to the top again and again because they are just that good. Oh, Zan boy. versus Hungrybox. That's right. And Hungrybox, seed number one going into this tournament. Right. Zan, seed number two. Two. So, like, in the snapshot of melee right now, HBox looking pretty good. And it's, if he wins this tournament, is HBox. Number, Number one. one. I you mean, know? it's it's towards the start of the new season for sure, right? It's like pretty early, you know. Mm -hmm. You so you know for people tuning in, like I don't know how many of, of y'all in chat. Shout out to all y'all, by the way. Yeah. I don't know how many of y'all are like you know deeply in tune with like the melee landscape, but the basically the most recent rankings just came out, and we do them about every half year. We hadn't done it for a while because of COVID. Uh, but now we're kind of back on schedule. So Zan's ranked number one right now, but HBox ranked number one this tournament in terms of the seeds. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of like the overall number one versus the most recently performing number one. So a very poetic winner's finals in that sense. Yeah, and I think it's also just, it's so crazy week to week, month to month, how much changes in the landscape of Melee in terms of these rankings, right? That's right. So yeah, I mean, every day is just different, every tournament. The field is just wide open. Zen, I mean, is somebody who, you know, I remember after Genesis and Pound, towards the beginning of the year, well, really more like April, you know, April into May, um, won two back-to-back -back Super Majors, and it looked like he was just on top. Oh, this could be, oh, oh. I like that he went for it. A little bit but late. But you're, you're, you're dead for missing that. I mean, that's a tough one to react to. I think so, right? And I feel like the platform heights were just a little bit, a little bit different. Oh, oh wait holding a down. Getting go. the rest? You gotta be careful at the low percents, because that's also a huge um, thing in 2022 melee. It kind of feels down. holding down. It kind of feels topical. Also, just the defensive rests. I was gonna say it feels a little topical because you know we did get we we got the commentating two Saint for Zen mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, and there were so many attempts from two Saint to just like S or not S not even S just raw rest out of combos. Okay, this could. Hbox the idol lab. Hang on, it's a whole chat, new world. chat, it's a whole chat. New world. You don't understand how big oh, that just was. I, and, then, and then resting. I mean, what was definitely a missed input there with the up smash, but the the reactions for Hbox to just go for it. I haven't even moved. Sorry, I haven't even moved on from that moment. <laughs> he died away on a fourth throw for the first time. It's like, history. Ever. I. So I actually need a moment. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not over it. Hbox making Hbox is making history right now with his defensive play. <laughs> Zay beat X and Hbox DI away to fourth. I'm sorry. I should be incorporating over it. DI that it's people true, have been though. doing it's true. for three years. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Listen, 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 let's listen, go. Listen, 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 listen. Chat, I like it. I like chat, it. Listen. All right, we're moving on. Oh, the turnaround up to. You love to get the turn on it because you, you always get the strong hitbox if you hit him from behind, mm -hmm. right? The front the front part of the up tilt is a bunch of different nuanced hitboxes. The back is mostly just the strong hit. That's a good point. Positioning before getting those kind of hits is very, very crucial because if you miss those opportunities, Jigglypuff can be kind of difficult to KO. And that's the mm. the, the, the Marth Killer that we were talking about. That's right. It punishes the early up B that Zan did and then gets a rest right off of it. I was actually ready to, I was ready to see a, um, even like a sing. You know, you could go for sing there, let's hop sing. And then um, go for like forward smash if you want to just play it safe and not deal with the rest punish afterwards. Yeah, that makes it's, sense. It's, a, it's an option, but okay, at 20%, you know, no no real wrong answer. You're not going to lose your stop. Ooh, almost an edge cancel opportunity there for HBox. HBox looking really good, yeah. I'm liking I, everything I'm seeing. This I, is awesome. I also like that Zan's playing pretty grounded overall. I felt like this is a, a pretty solid style that he showed against Two Saints as well, where uh, Zan will just kind of stay grounded, waiting for the puffs to like exhaust at least one or two jumps before approaching in the air, right, or before challenging in the air. But if not, then you have ca uh, you have access to holding down, right, between ASDI down and uh, CC. That's right. So it's it's good the way nice that Zan's doing, and also you have access to grab, right. I, yeah, and right there, I like HBox DIing in because then you don't give Zan the tipper, but oh my goodness gracious. Okay, well, yeah, I think you said it on the ground game thing. Look at that. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Are you going to go down again? No, no, no. Playing it safe, playing it safe. I like it. Ooh, wow, yeah. I thought Forever should have hit low key, but oh, again, DIing away. Wow, the tippers. Something that we see a lot more. And often. so, look, and, and Zan noting that HBox is actually mixing in some nice DIY away. <laughs> is uh, starting to go for down throw instead off of the throws. So now we have an actual like DI mix-up kind of situation. Gets grabbed out of that? Whoa. So I believe that that is more on the Marth kind of peeking his head too up. High. Yeah, yeah, I believe. But we actually did see those grabs at the Smash Con set as well. Ooh, Zan just up a game. Off the side. 
This is looking like the game plan that we're used to seeing Zan bring to the table. And, you know, I, I should point out, by the way, I just think this is kind of cool for me. This is my first time at, at Shine, ever. First time I've ever been to, but I've definitely seen all of them. And um, pretty historic tournament in Shine 2018, right? When, when Zan won his first major over HBOX in Grants. Yeah, and we're, we're back here, years later. And they're still at it. Still at it, and it's winner's finals. Uh, okay, so here's the chain grab. You go long enough, you know, I think the question people might have is wow. like, well, why not do that forever? Why not keep going? And the answer is, the throws don't do that much damage. If you actually look at the percent, they, they do like four of these, and oh my goodness gracious. But the consistency that Zan's been getting off of that, he gets at least like 40% yeah. off like the 0% the down throw uh, re grabs into like F air or uh, neutral or air, air well, right? Yeah, I think the, the theory is like you do it long enough until you know you have like a juicy aerial punish, mm -hmm. and then you take your like 30, 40 damage from aerials. And by the way, Zan is going Bobby Big Balls mode with these downers. Comboing like a Falco would. But that ain't Falco. No. <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> too soon? <laughs> Never too soon. For Never that. too Never soon. Too I thought he was going to up smash him. I don't know why. I'm going crazy, dude. Zed's like super good. I mean, this is the stage that I would say is. Oh my goodness. I'm, <laughs> Tipper, I'm almost killed. I swear to God. That's the. This is the big counter pick, right? This is Hbox's huge counter pick in a lot, a lot of matchups. You have to win here. It's just the. the I'm saying, Zan playing grounded is so good because Hbox is going from platform to platform. And on the top platform, oh. Zan is just not even trying to, like, <laughs> like contest it. He's like, I'm going to. I have the lead. You come down to me. You got to make something happen now. Oh, Shield Breaker there is so smart. These early up bees, uh, you're seeing Zen actually do the, the, the ledge up bees a little sooner than I think you might be ready for, at least ready sooner than, uh, than, than HBOX is ready for, because he's getting clipped out of them a good bit. Ooh. Wow. Uh, one more jump. Okay. Able to sneak by the that air dodge. The air dodge will get you again. Whoa. So I, it's interesting. You know, you were saying, and to your point, I think you're right, that is kind of on the Marth. But the reason that's working is because Zen is electing to go for early uppies. Yeah. Because he doesn't want to let HBOX set up. I guess the only problem then is that fourth throw isn't the biggest reward all the time. Because, you know, they get their jump back. Anytime you grab someone in melee, they get their double jump back, right? So. Yeah, and I think it maybe allows HBOX to set up really like some edge guarding between like the forward air that covers the ledge. But I think it's just a good option to introduce. Because then yeah. Zan has to be careful doing the, the uppies that poke the, the head out a little bit. Well, so, so much of Smash and so much of fighting games is like keeping your opponent honest, right? It's like, it's basically like showing your opponent, look at all the tricks that I have in my, tool, my toolkit. And so you have to respect all of these. And then once they know you have, you have those many options, that makes it that much easier to get the option you want to actually occur. Because they're just, they just have to look out for more. They and to, by the way, so the downers are variables. back on deck. Ooh, Ooh. There's so, it's actually so much percent that Xan is building up, by the way. <laughs> really this is. so much percent. It really is. Because now Tippers will KO. Side Tippers, B up tilt is up like tilt, on, yeah. on the table as well. Yeah. Oh, cool. Really went for a re-grab. Oh my goodness, that was a power shield forward smash. I'm looking at the player cam dish, by the way, and I'm seeing a frustrated Juan. Mm. <laughs> I'm seeing an HBOX that is over this game too. He F need, this. He needed that energy drink. <laughs> someone, someone no! get this man an energy drink. If <laughs> only we could have left the desk and just not commentated and left, left you guys with silence. <laughs> So that we could have uh, ran over to the store and bought HBOX and Energy Drink, which, by the way, we couldn't bring into the venue anyway. So there you go. Because <laughs> they, they they did they, take they take they away do all take the away your beverages. And, yeah. So get this man an Energy Drink. Like Captain America getting that shield. That's what he needs right now in this fight against Zan. All right, you're down 0-2, and the crowd starts Dreamland clapping. I think that's okay. You know what? I'm a fan. Of oh, wait, 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 wait. The jumps are. <laughs> That got sketchy, bro. And then the counter clap. People just erupt in the clapping oh, because yeah. there's a whole meta around it now, Fish. Tell me about it. So they just are doing the The, the Dream Land clap haters just clap like an audience clapping at the end of a concert to throw off the Dreamland clappers. Mm. It's actually a war in the crowd. I don't know if you in chat can hear it, but uh, it, it is a battle that's being waged here. And speaking of battles being raged, Zan has not taken a percent. Yeah, this is looking like uh, the opposite of battle. There we go. There we go. Hbox on the board here with 12%. Oh, just dash tagging in. 
<laughs> we talked about the edge guarding for my goodness. I gotta say, when you watch like the streams of Zan and IBDW, the yeah. things they really call out in HBox's gameplay is the pounds the in pound. particular. They really have a good read on when exactly oh. HBox is gonna pound, right? Were you there for that summit when uh when Zan got on the mic and we were watching an HBox set and he was like it was is gonna pound now. And then he and pounds. At the exact oh. moment he comes out, and, and, and all four of us, the, you might not have been there then. Yeah. Because then all four of us on the couch were like, okay, that's why you're beating him. Like, yeah. what do you even say to that? Like, 12 seconds went by where he didn't pound, and Zan's like, watch, he's gonna pound now. And I was like, no. That's Get, that's not that's not real. Getting a handle that. on the player's rhythm like that, and specifically the move choice is huge, because pound is uh, like it's... Jigglypuff's <laughs> kind of haymaker sometimes, right? Like, right. Hbox sees that all the backers are being like spaced well, so that it, the pound goes like a little bit more forward. So it's it's cool. And it's super active. It's not the kind. It's it's like a weird move because if you've never gone hit fighter used it, it's you think it's just the punch part. Yeah. Where where you, there's a hitbox, but the hitbox is active the whole time that, that arm is extended. Oh man! And as we're saying this, Zen is just getting so much percent off of every oh. initiation. It feels like Hbox is kind of throwing everything at. At him, like between that dash attack on shield, it just feels like I don't want to say desperate, but he's just trying everything he can right now. Right, Tov. and again, I'm, I'm I'm watching Zan, and he's he's kind of just hanging back. Mm -hmm. This is like, all right, cool. I mean, you know, retreat forward air, retreat in air. You know, you'll come in, you'll come in, you'll get hit, you'll run into my sword. Oh, she's Louis. That that's got to be tilting. Yeah. Look at H box, bro. Like he just looks tired. You know, <laughs> not. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not saying he's necessarily physically tired, but it, it, I mean, yeah, it looks frustrating. Me mentally, mentally tiring, right? Like when you think you got that KO off that back air, tech back air comes at uh, comes at you. It's, it's just a lot. It's just a lot. It's exhausting. Deal, it's exhausting. There you go. Side B up tilt. That's another KO from Zan, and another KO that he didn't have to work too hard for. I mean, having the lead again on Hbox's counter pick on Dreamland. That's huge. Yeah. Okay, there's a pound, but crouch for yeah. Zane. Wow. Oh, okay, no, opportunity! Oh, gets there it the rest is. Anyway, he doesn't get the rest off the up tilt, but the, the platform tech chase will get the rest for H-Box. Right. And see, that time, uh, Zan understood, like, I can't get the, the re-grab again, but I can go for forward air just based on the DI. Right. Maybe he could have gotten the re-grab, I'm not a, sure. But at least he goes for a forward air as well. It's a good amount of damage, right? Like, if you can get two aerials, like, that's already a pretty hefty amount towards that, you know, that mythical, like, tipper percent, right? Yeah, um, building it into kind of like that mid-range where tippers will start to KO. Right. Around the 70, super 70, important. 75, 80% range. It's big. It's really big. A little Nair there, catching Edgebox coming off the platform. See how grounded Ooh. Zan is, but the edge cancels right now from both players. Both players. Yeah, they're, Zan's like, yo, you got edge cancels? Anything you can do, I can do better, bro. Oh, man. Center stage! Center, center stage, stage and grounded! Center stage and grounded, Hbox center stage and top platform. Look at that. Okay, it's noting, noting that Hbox is going for that um, that grab. So it goes the, the proper up B so you don't get grabbed that time. Going and a little bit lower, yeah. Zan. Just a nice little adaptation. Okay. Ah, you love another bear there, but that's tough to get. Oh, that's damage. 43. Oh, and Hbox is having such a hard time landing right now. Gets behind Puff. Whoa. F smash actually KOs. Yeah, that is a little bit. A little bit of a wacky hitbox there. Zan right now. Okay, the dash grab not going to come through. Hbox is adopting that platform stall, but going blow for blow isn't enough right now. Mm -hmm. Again, the oh. pounds. I don't think, like, even the one pound that hit was held down by a Zan. Right. So, just really, like, 0 for 6 on the pounds right now. The defense on, yeah, the defense on the pounds in particular has been extremely good. And without that, you know, what's the answer here? Maybe one more of those edge cancels? When I love the weights too on the platform, uh, shield pressure, just the delay before doing the up air so that the shield gets a little bit smaller, potentially getting a shield poke. Wow, every, okay. Zan opting to dash in, takes a forward air. First time he's gotten hit in a while. Zan really has to watch out for up air in particular, because that's uh -huh. gonna be the pop up that leads to rest. Oh, good DI, good the DI, hang on a minute. The oh, oh, the trade is so crucial. Oh, oh, I thought they'd be up beat. Hbox ducks the nair. Ow, oh, the, the, the pound on shield. <laughs> The death, okay, so no jump, I think, but Zan makes it to the ground. That's tough. That yeah. could have been curtains. The landing was four there. There was brilliant. Now both players roughly the same oh. percent can. Oh, oh the, tech, the, tech, the tech was everything. The uh, tech was everything. Uh, up tilt doesn't, he ain't crouches it. Yeah, he crouches, crouches the up tilt. That was crouch. That was crouch. Oh, that was clutch from the clutch god. Mm. 
Ah, doesn't do now, it yet. Yeah, now I think the side B Everyone. up tilt is like a little bit too high. The threshold has been passed, it looks like. So maybe you go for oh, oh, and no! Zan goes a little bit too low. A sigh of relief from H-Box. Wow. And a little bit of a flub, I want to say, from Zan, if I'm not mistaken. Dipping a little bit too low, Dipping tries to get... Low. Because I think that was also off the back of um, H-Box doing all those grabs on... Oh, maybe, maybe even just... Well, even setting up for there, you saw him run up to the ledge and try to shield, right? So. Yeah. Wow. I mean, any any way you can get it, you know, you're going to take a, a game here. You, you just need to get on the board somehow, but unfortunately that does mean the rest of the set is going to be played out on Zan's counter picks. That's right. And what strong counter picks you have. It's never a good look if, like, you're. it's that hard to win on your counter pick, right? Like, he lost the first game on Dreamland, Hungrybox, and then the second one was that close. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah. triple four air. Three four dares to go every single time that Zan gets an opening. It's like three aerials. Look that's at big. The shark in here, man. It's just okay. So forward smash. The first opportunity Zan really gave H box to go for a hit. Ooh, good roll. I mean, sorry. Good spot dodge to avoid the grab. Spot dodge is just a roll, but in place. <laughs> yeah, you know. sorry. A little, little, little spinny. Yeah, a little, a little yeah, spin right. action. Oh, little stall. H-Box backing off from the ledge. Okay. He, oh, wow. Just for the crap, huh? That's obviously not a true block string or anything. It's just, you know, they think you might throw a move out, so they respect it. Mm, That's not high-level stuff. And we see the multi-hit also as well, knowing that, you know, that first side B, H-Box was a little bit too far away, so I'm going to do a second one as you're going to try to punish that first side B. The nice thing, too, and it's kind of poetic because I keep saying the word poetic. I need to stop. Anyway, whatever. It's poetic. Hey, okay, melee's poetic. Melee the way uh, the last interaction is Shine 2018, which for some reason I remember well, was the Zan goes for side B, H-Box CCs it, but the second hit of, of side B mm. pops him up. So I think a good, a, a good tip is, like, if your opponent is crouching your side B like that, you can go for the second hit to actually beat the crouch cancel in, in, in a weird way, like very high percentage. Yeah, throwing out that, especially because uh, sometimes they'd have to like dash afterwards after the CC to like kind of punish it, you know? Yeah. So like throwing out an extra a hitbox can throw off a lot of people oh, bro. again. Oh, going for the downer. I mean, the downer, honestly, when Zed gets those, it just turns into 50 damage every time at, like, minimum, so... Yeah, even if Puff makes it back onto stage more often than not, the percent is good. And sometimes he gets, like, two or three of those down tilts, that builds up damage. You know, that it's... I, I think it's just good to go for it, especially when you know that your tipper probably just won't kill because the percent was too low. Mm -hmm. The neutral here is also a little bit more simplified, right? No platforms, no top platform in particular for HBox to go to, so mm. that's why you see him way more corner-based. Right. Right. Like wanting to have like that ledge to kind of retreat to if uh, it doesn't feel like he can make an initiation war. Gets the roll. Oh, he tried to yeah. chase a roll. You see that? H-Box went for drill uh, roll regrets. That's the classic H-Box, throwing out the, the drill in particular, and then a lot of people roll after after the drill. Right, because they're trying to get out of that like drill, like pseudo infinite, where you just get drill, 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 you know? Mm -hmm. Oh! Goes for Nair. A good bit of damage. Yeah, I mean, it's just a, you know, it's a mix up every time, and Pretty much, if you're if you're the Marlin, you're just happy to take some of those aerials. Like 47 is already a lot. Mm, good DI on that second back air as well. Not gonna string into a third. Oh, oh the, yo, low the wave dash. The low profile. That's the nice part. Again, goes a little bit too low, but uh, the puff wave dash is really nice because it kind of has like an inbuilt crouch in it as yeah. as she's wave dashing to an. Well, uh, wave, wave dash goes lower than crouch. Oh, really? Wave that's the, that's crazy. The bottom that's of good puff to know. Uh, wave dash actually goes lower than even crouch, which sounds absurd, but it's it does. So you can always go under like dash grabs, um, any kind of Marth grab setups on that work on crouch do not work on dash. That's like really that. that's really important because there's like a couple of setups where um, HBox would like go underneath even like neutral air and things like that that look pretty close to the ground. That's with right. The wave dash. Yeah, so pretty cool that HBox is like incorporating this stuff. I do feel honestly like watching recent HBox versus Zen, he's definitely bringing more tools to the table, which I love. But uh, Sans looking ready for basically everything right now. Again, keeping center stage, keeping staying grounded is so nice because you can still threaten down tilts oh. as well, which is really nice. And great and reactions just, to go for that upbeat. He just lulled him forward, dude. He's just like, oh my god. Oh. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is where, this is where Xbox oh. gets everything. But no, that wasn't the light shield, I believe. That no, was just he regular messed up shield. The Marth killer. Yeah, the Marth saver. The Marth saver. I guess so. Ooh, yeah. And it, and, that, uh, that one also doesn't work as well, trying to grab the uh, a B. I wonder if HBox is like overcomplicating it. Um, I think it's just kind of tense in that moment, right? Oh, that could have been a temper, I think. 
Dude, I gotta shout out how good melee crowds are now, like the average crowd member, because I just heard the crowd go like, whoa, because they thought a temper was coming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, dude, crowds are so much better at melee than they used to be. Like, the average <laughs> player out there could probably like, just mess me up. It's crazy. Get on Unranked. Everyone here People didn't. I, I, I'm just saying. Unranked Legends in the crowd. Un un definitely Unranked Legends in the crowd, yeah, for sure. Oh, not getting the I side B up tilt. <laughs> Again! So Oh! The tiniest forward tilt from H box, oh! and that's gonna do it. Zan will be moving on. Downward up air, dude. Just honestly, just well played. Like that's a GGWP. I don't even know what to say. The, the game plan was so solid. I think just the discipline, the discipline from Zan. Just anytime the lead was there, the game plan was there throughout. Lead, no lead. It felt like center stage grounded. I really, especially seeing how sweaty the um, the axe set got, where there were moments for sure where Zan was kind of, I don't know, we were watching back here. Yeah, okay, I'll admit it. I was cheering for Zan. I just wanted to, you know, Golden Guardians, all that. And I felt like there were moments where, like, he would back up and he would do these, like, there were moments where he was throwing out some forward smashes where I was like, oh, bro, you're, you're going fishing. Oh, and on like the edge saying? guarding, right? On the yeah, edge guarding not, in particular. And also just in neutral, like he'd back up and like, or, or actually be on the ledge and he'd like call a ledge dash approach with like a preemptive forward smash. And I'm like, ah, I, it, it just feels a little desperate, you mm -hmm. know? And I love mm -hmm. seeing, I mean, I think that set really spells it out, right? You see HBox, who at times was getting a little bit desperate, like you said, you know, coming forward with those dash tags out of the corner. And Zan the whole time, like, no, bread and butter game plan, discipline. Discipline is what wins championships, Toph. Defense wins games, discipline, discipline wins, wins championships. championships. That's right. That's right. Especially against characters like Puff. Oh, Having that yeah. game plan and then just not phasing or uh, changing the game plan throughout is so crucial. There's characters like that. I feel like Icy is one of them, you know, versus Ices, Yoshi, yeah. Pikachu. You know, like having that kind of solid game plan, so good. I think what it is is that in a lot of these matchups, Puff Marth is isn't going to have, you know, it's not like Marth Spaces where Marth is going to zero death you, right? Like, you you got to play a lot of neutral. And... It, it's, it's easy to get these characters, you know, we call it Marthritis, right? You get these characters to 100 or whatever, and then it's like, ah, you struggle to get the KO. But where I think even, I mean, even Xan on a bad day, right, will periodically be like, ah, I can get this kill right now. I'll just go for it. But when you're playing super sharp and super hot and you trust fully in your execution, that's when you're just going to say, you know what? I'm okay going back to neutral. I'll just win the next exchange. Shades of PPMD. That's the mark of a super strong Marth player, I think. Because, you know, Marth, Marth can zone out characters really well. And so when you reset back to neutral, as you're pointing out... Man's yeah, got, got a sword. Man's got a sword. <laughs> End of the day. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit long. It's kind of long. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. long.